Hi friends, I'm LJ Jars from the Warhammer Podcast, and welcome to this new episode. Just a quick update, this will be my last video for the year of 2018. I'll be back in January of 2019 with all new videos. It's just that for the month of December, I'll be taking a break off YouTube. Though there will be a video next week, and on the day of Christmas. So without further ado, let's get into this new episode. So I thought about talking to you guys about my views and opinions about Warhammer End Times. And what are my overall views were on it, how it led up to it, and how it eventually led to Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Now, when End Times was announced, I was a little bit confused about why Games Workshop was doing this. Because at the time, I really wanted to collect Bretonians, because I was a huge fantasy writer back then. I really need to get into that now. Well, try to get into it again. That'll be a video for another day. A lot of people online weren't really too thrilled about the, the idea that a hobby that they grew up with were, was becoming basically destroyed just so another one can take its place. Now, I b believe how Games Workshop was setting up end times, I believe they had the right intentions. Like, they weren't, they didn't just cancel it, say, okay, this is what happened uh, on one sheet of paper, how the world ended, now here's Age of Sigmar. I liked it that they had, like, a novel series and all that. They had, like, tournaments, they having the players make stories that would lead to end times. Now, I haven't read the end times novels, but I did hear online that they weren't that great. Like, they weren't exactly written well. It could have had a lot more potential. It's p probably the best way I can say it. And on 1D4 Gen, it was pretty much a mess of how the players were doing these story tournaments, let's call them where it was mostly one faction being too strong because in the game, well, each faction is a little bit broken. Essentially, that's what led to End Times. Though, was it necessary? Was something like End Times necessary? And was Age of Sigmar a good idea? It's really hard to say because Warhammer Fantasy had like a really unique universe. Like It was kind of like the Game of Thrones to Warhammer, where... It was a grim, dark fantasy setting where there were these houses, kingdoms, and it truly showed, like, medieval life. It wasn't like all the other fantasy stories where it had, like, romanticized medieval times. This was like the peasants couldn't go anywhere. They were low-educated, under the thumb of the higher kings. It had, like, the grim darkness of 40k, but in, of course, a fantasy setting. I believe Games Workshop could have done more with End Times, or probably done a little bit better. Now, I haven't read the End Times novel, so I couldn't, I can't give that much opinions. Though, what I'm getting from the fans, it could have been done better. People even say it wasn't necessary. Then again, Games Workshop themselves says that Age of Sigmar is doing a lot more popular now than Warhammer Fantasy was. It was it's making a lot more sales, and it's actually keeping up with 40k, which is basically Games Workshop's poster boys. Now, we don't really know the stats of how well Age of Sigmar is because Games Workshop wouldn't show us. For this video, I'm just going to take it, take it how they say it. I'm just going to believe that Age of Sigmar is doing better. And people have said that Warhammer Fantasy was a little bit broken when it comes to armies, and that it took a lot more patience and a lot more stuff to learn than how 40k was. Yes, when Age of Sigmar happened, yes, the Stormcasting Turtles are seen as the Space Marines in the fantasy setting, though I think Age of Sigmar might have more potential down the line. Like, I think because it's a brand new game, it's a brand new hobby, it's giving Games Workshop more creative liberty. Because here's the thing, in Warhammer Fantasy, it had all these stereotypical fantasy stuff. It has elves, it has dwarves, all these themes from every medieval time period. But with Age of Sigmar, I believe that because they've decided to rename some things like the Dwarden Elves, I, I don't know how you say it. It's like A E L V E S. I believe that's how you spell Age of Sigmar's version of Elves. Age of Sigmar to me. Because it's very new, like how Rogue Trader was, I believe it's eventually going to get better. 
In fact, I think it is kind of getting a little better because because right now I'm listening to Ram Slayer on the Black Library app, and it's really good so far. Age of Sigmar, in fact, it's still pretty new. Like, this is only the second edition, so I believe it's going to... We're going to get more elaborate stories, more lore. I believe it's going to become something great down the line. Like, people might look at Rogue Trader. That was basically the beta version to 40k before we got something more grand, something more colorful. So, I believe that's going to happen with Age of Sigmar. Because it's only at second edition, we're going to get something really good down the line. And I believe it's going to give Games Workshop more creativity than what they had with Warhammer Fantasy. But then again, that's just my views. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the end times? Do you think it was necessary, or do you think Games Workshop shouldn't have touched it? And what are your views on Age of Sigmar? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel and you would like to subscribe, then make sure to activate the bell notification button so you'll never miss an episode. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you again soon.